This is what's happening right now, Ty. Uh, President Obama has signed a declaration of emergency for Florida. He has signed the Florida Emergency Thanks. Declaration, which will allow FEMA to identify, mobilize, and provide at its discretion equipment and resources necessary to alleviate the impact of Hurricane Matthew. In addition to that, and of course the governor, Governor Scott this morning was hopeful that the president would do that by this afternoon and the White House just releasing the fact that he has signed that declaration of emergency. Separatory, separately, rather, Governor Scott says that over half of the state of Florida's National Guard has been activated to help with the emergency down there caused by the uh, arrival of Hurricane Matthew. In, also, they have just changed uh, Governor Scott's anticipated briefing time. It was set for 3 p.m. They've moved that up to uh, 2.30 p.m. So given the uh, most recent update from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Matthew, Governor Scott has activated additional uh, National Guard members, about 1,000 additional. That brings it to 3,500 members that have been activated. That's equivalent to half of that state National Guard. And we're awaiting his briefing at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, I'll turn it back to you guys. Sue, thank Ty. you very much. As we look at images there in uh, Fort Lauderdale of a, of a lone surfer out uh, trying to catch a wave there. I guess there are thrill seekers who will do that, some people on there the beach people as well. strolling around. Even the governor just said today, if you go to the beach, if you go in the water, you will be killed. You're at risk yeah. of death. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.